The $2.5 billion Mars Science Laboratory is perhaps NASA's most daring unmanned expedition, requiring an unprecedented landing by parachute and a rocket-powered sky crane. It would be the heaviest and most powerful object ever placed on another planet, carrying 10 high-precision plutonium-powered sampling instruments, all crucial components of what NASA scientists call its mission of the decade. The project, nicknamed Curiosity, would add to a mostly successful string of American landings on the Red Planet over the past three decades. This time, the destination is the Gale Crater. A one-ton vehicle will be scaling the five-kilometer mountain in the middle of the crater, whose features may once have been carved by flowing water. At least in the past, Mars looks like it has been habitable. It could have supported microbial life. But, you know, you need to go and look and you need to ask the right questions. And Curiosity is a rover that's able to do that. Curiosity will mine and analyze the terrain's minerals for evidence that the planet could have supported carbon-based life. One of the things that we're attracted to as a science hypothesis that we would like to test is the possibility that there were loose surficial materials once transported by water that then became cemented. Whatever Curiosity's findings, success of this mission would give hope to the few who have even bigger dreams for the planet, including human habitation. It will become increasingly possible for uh, uh, first a Mars base and then ultimately Martian communities to be self-sufficient on Mars. When we learn that craft, Mars becomes habitable to humans. But the NASA scientists caution that given its complexity, Curiosity's landing will be seven minutes of terror. If they fail, the dream of Mars exploration could be set back indefinitely. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.